Now your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. Well, yesterday, you know, I was out running errands and I mean, it was hot and humid. Temperatures were in the upper 80s. The dew points were up. Well, today we're going to cool things down. High is going to be closer to average, mid 60s. The average is 68 degrees, 74 tomorrow. So temperatures looking pretty good next couple of days. We're back to the uh, warm temperatures Thursday and Friday, low 80s, but at least not uh, as warm as it was yesterday. And then Saturday, 68 degrees. So that's a temperature trend next few days. Uh, rising temps and then sinking into Saturday. And as far as the rain chances go with that, uh, no rain for today. Isolated showers Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday, 40% chance of rain late. That's going to be a cool front, another cold front moving through the region. Here's a cold front right now that moved through last night. It is now down towards the Hatteras area. It's even south of our region. So the showers are decreasing. We only got a couple left over. We're drying out. We got that northeast breeze, which will keep things cool. So just tracking a couple spotty showers down towards Hatteras, and that's about it. The rest of the region, we are drying out. And we're going to dry out for today. We're going to clear out a little bit too. We'll see clearing skies going to partly cloudy for noon, and it's going to feel great out there. I mean, for a nice spring day, we got highs in the mid 60s. Beautiful weather out there at 3 p.m. A little bit of northeast breeze, but that's it. 6 o'clock, we got some good weather, partly cloudy. And then overnight, we are going to cloud up a little bit. So tomorrow, I'm calling for partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. Not too bad. There might be a few uh, spotty showers out across the region, but again, very low chance. I've got isolated or 20%. Maybe by the time we get to tomorrow, I could drop it down to 10%. All right, so temperatures at the moment in the upper 50s in Newport News. We're in the upper 50s to low 60s basically throughout the whole region. Uh, a few mid 50s on the eastern shore, and there's a little patchy fog out there right now. Not too much of a problem in the metro, but a few inland locations. Uh, we've seen some patchy fog, and it's gotten a little thick there. Now, our winds are out of the north at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. It's going to pick up out of the northeast, 10 to 15 today, and that's going to keep the temperatures down. So highs in the mid-60s in Nags Head, 70 in Hatteras, but 66 in Elizabeth City and 68 in Edenton. Got a couple spotty showers down there. They're going to be drying out, though, later today. Mid-60s in Virginia Beach, Norfolk, 66 in Portsmouth, upper 60s in Chesapeake, and 66 in Suffolk. Partly cloudy skies. Again, some pretty nice weather out there later today. 64 in Pocosin, 63 in Hampton, 65 Newport News. Hopefully the humidity drops a little bit. It's up a little this morning. Should drop this afternoon. Low 60s on the eastern shore. Melfa 62, 64 in Gloucester. Again, northeast breezes. And on the water, you've got a northeast breeze there too. 10 to 20 knots. Seas 3 to 4 feet and the bay is 2 to 3 feet. All right, so your seven day forecast, you got highs in the mid 60s today, a little breezy. Tomorrow, 70, isolated shower possible, and then some low 80s Thursday and Friday. Uh, looking pretty good, just a little warm, and then we'll cool things down Saturday. We're dry. Sunday and a Monday, we'll see some more showers and thunderstorms there. Uh, temperatures in the 70s. So no cold air in sight, but uh, today, definitely quite a bit cooler.